Now, you've probably all heard of the It's James trading method. You just open packs and get big players. Oh my god, we just got Pele. Oh my god, it's Eusebio! But for everyone who can't be that lucky, head over to our sponsor, buyfifacoins.com to get yourself cheap, safe, and reliable FIFA coins at the click of a button. In preparation for the Euros, there is also a chance to win 5 million coins with a 10% bonus, but make sure to use James at checkout. How's it going, guys? It's James here, and welcome to a draft video. We don't do very many of these. I mean, it is getting towards the end of the year, so content might be running a little bit dry, so we've kind of run out of things to do, but the Euros is upon us, so I thought we'd do something a little bit different with the draft. So we're going to be doing a draft on FIFA 21 with only European players. We're then going to go back in time to FIFA 18 onto the World Cup mode and also do another draft over there, also only using European players. And we're going to compare the two of them and see which one's better. Because obviously on the FIFA 21 live game, we've got loads of players who have got upgraded cards, team of the seasons like Mbappe, Thomas Muller, Lewandowski, all those players. But then back on the FIFA 18 World Cup mode, you've also got players with significant upgrades like the 93 rated Varane, 96 rated Eden Hazard and stuff like that. So we're going to just give them a quick compare, have a trip down memory lane and do some drafts. So we're going to start over on FIFA 21. I don't know what formation to use just because we're not going to play with this. It's an offline draft. There's no stress involved in terms of playing. I think we might go with a wider formation maybe... Uh, yeah, we'll go with the 4-1-2-1-2 wide. It's got a couple of links in the midfield, but we get a great start. Thomas Muller must go straight in. A high-rated European player. It is fantastic. We've also got Harry Kane as well, which is very nice. Doesn't link yet, sadly, but we can just get another Premier League team of the season striker. Or... Or... Oh, actually, these are really good cards, but I don't really want to use Icardi. Well, I can't use card. He's not European. So I think the only choice is really Bernardo Silva because he does get a link across to Mr. Harry Kane as well. Paul Pogba. Again, I think it's just a no-brainer, isn't it? We get to take Paul Pogba. Maybe a little bit of regret on uh, on that man in the on that man in the cam spot now. Oh, another two team of the seasons. Very nice. We do actually get another Premier League team of the season as well, who I think we must take, to be honest. We might have to shift out Hummel, uh, Muller, maybe just into a corner somewhere, because he is not really helping the chemistry a great deal at the moment. We've got some other player we could take. Ah, see, the issue here is Alex Moreno is a better player, but Nathaniel Klein actually gets a link. And I think chemistry is going to be the key here. Because we obviously aren't guaranteed a European player in every single selection. So some of these might be duds. Oh, nice. So actually, i just taken Canate thinking that's a bit unfortunate. It's of not much help. But we then go and grab... Upper Meccano, which is a perfect link. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Obviously, it's just great for chemistry, isn't it? I don't think there's anything else we can take here. Denayer is also Belgian, but there's not really much use for him, to be honest. We just need a... Uh, we wanted a Bundesliga keeper. We do actually get Hradecki, who is from Europe, which is actually not too bad. And I think he might have to go. Yeah, do you know what? Go on, Hradecki, mate. So we've got another decision on our hands. I think we can take Haustenberg, to be honest, because he gets that Red Bull strong link into the two fullbacks. We've got a very like, a very odd sort of Premier League, Bundesliga hybrid at the moment. I think this is just always the correct decision to get the chemistry. Um, this also gets more chem, despite those two playing a different, like the opposite mid spot. But do you know what? That's fine. Oh, also, if we swap these two round, that's another six chemistry. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. We've just got to get a little bit more chemistry back here. Or like change change the right mid to like, oh, I don't know. Even a Mason Green would be fine, right? Just to get the English strong link into the right back. What are the bet what are the better right mids that are English are there? I don't even think there are very many, you know. I think maybe Bowen is higher rated, but nothing too crazy. Sergio Ramos is good for the bench. I don't think he's gonna start, but he's a very good bench player. Nice rating there. Oh, Serge Gnabry. Now, that is some chem. 
Now that is some chem. Now let me think. I think if we just do a straight swap with Pogba, that should be more chemistry, right? It is plus two chemistry. You love to see it. Jordan Henderson, inform Son, Marcus Rashford. Oh, we could play Marcus Rashford off chem at the right. So he'd be on seven chem, right? But then Nathaniel Klein would be on 10. So I think that's actually better. But he does have a team of the season card that we could, we could try and wait for. We could try and wait for team of the season Son, but is that just greedy? Actually, I've just got, oh, I always completely forgot. We're not, we're doing a Euros special. So we actually can't pick any of these middle three. So it's got to be Rashford or Henderson. I think I'm going to be really greedy. And I'm going to take Henderson and hope we can get a better Rashford card later. Because he's got a lot of upgrades, not just the team of the season. Maybe could get us some chemistry at a later point, but not helpful at the moment. Andre Silva and Bergwijn. Oh, okay. That's nice. That is a nice upgrade. I think we could take this guy maybe. Oh, but... Um, I don't think there's anyone better to take. Although we could take Andre Silva and play him at left striker. And then have Harry Kane. Oh no, and then have Bernardo Silva at the right striker. Ooh. I think it's got to be Andre Silva. I think it just makes too much sense. Yeah, you guys are right. Playing that centre forward is, is good as well. We've got a few more picks now. We've got Laborde doesn't really help us very much. Testegen doesn't really help us much either. But I think we'll just take the chemistry, uh, the, the rating rather. I think we'll just take the high rated Testegen. Nothing else doing there. Again, nothing of much help. We'll take the highest rated. We just need to get another, a better right mid basically. Uh, none of these are helpful either. These two are both not from Europe, so we can't take those. It's got to be Van Arnholt instead. The last pick. Ooh, Carl Walker and Ansu Fati. Carl Walker, we could play at right mid, and I think he'd still give us chemistry, you know. I think that's actually I think that's actually a not a bad shout. Ansu Fati doesn't get any links, so that's unfortunate. Plus five chem, yeah. So you get because he gets Carl Walker because he gives. Mike, that's perfect, because he gives Harry Kane full chem, gives Nathaniel Klein full chem, and he's on six chem himself. We've actually managed to mix things around a little bit. We've actually managed to grab 99 chemistry. Oof, we squeeze out one more rating with the higher rated bench. We're on 88 rated. We can easily get one chemistry here, surely, please. You can't screw me like this. Easy peasy, first one, in you go. One 8-8 eight, eight as the Euro squad for FIFA 21. Not too bad at all, to be honest. I'm quite happy with that. We had a, a bit of a chemistry conundrum in the middle, but we managed to get some perfect links. So how many have we got now? We've got one perfect link here, one perfect link here. Do you know what? Two perfect links is a happy time for anyone. Now let's hop over to FIFA 18 onto World Cup mode and see what the draft looks like over there. So here we are. We are back on FIFA 18 World Cup mode draft. Back in Russia, it was played. I don't really know about what to do with any of these formations. I don't think it really matters. I think we'll go with the 3 4 1 2 because it's got less links into the midfielders. Let's have a look at what European players we can get. Oh, we start off with some icons, which is very nice. Um, the two icons are the only two players we can even pick because. They are, of course, European, and the others are not. So we'll take Rui Costa, which is a very good start. I, oh yeah, how do you build a draft? Uh, so let's go with the striker spot. We get, oh, we get, fine. I mean, if you give us double icons to get the strong link, I will absolutely take it. Antonio Teodorovic. The nice thing about this as well is because the way it's structured, all of the European players all link together, regardless of whatever clubs they play for or anything like that. So chemistry shouldn't be an issue the rating however does look like it might cause us some problems oh dearie me okay this is not good oh rami and boateng pepe oh matt hummels as well so for those of you that don't know or haven't played the fifa 18 world cup mode the players started out as their base rating from the game but as they progressed or as their team progressed throughout the tournament they got more and more upgrades so I think Matt Hummels may have been an 86 or 87 rated card on the base FIFA game. But because they got to wherever they got to, I don't actually think they got out of the group stages. I'm pretty sure I remember them losing to South Korea because 
Hyung Min Scon, his uh, pastry compatriot. Um, yeah, I think he... Yeah, that's actually very sad. So they must have not gone very high up. That is a big ripping. But uh, yeah, we will absolutely take Matt's Hummels. There's Defoe in there. Rabio. So France obviously won the World Cup. So a lot of the French players in the starting 11 have had absolutely massive, massive boosts to rating. Unfortunately, Costil is not one of those players. Koscielny is nice. PK and Pepe again. I think we might as well go with Pepe. So there is a 93 rated Raphael Varane card on this game. And a 91 rated, a 95 rated Modric because they obviously got to the finals to play against France. Woo! They are the ones that beat us last time we faced, as in England, because China aren't in the Euros. But Modric was a key part of that team. How much rating are we going to have to start this off? Glick is European. Just about, I think. I don't know why I thought Poland was in Asia, but it's definitely not. Okay, we're 87 rated. 99 chemistry. We need to find something that can boost the rating. We need a better left mid, is like a silver player, a better striker, right mid or goalkeeper. Otherwise, the other positions are all pretty strong. That is not a step up. In fact, that's taken as a rating down because it was so bad. Oh, Thiago Silva is the highest rated by far, but he's just not the right continent. Oh, no. We're getting absolutely screwed over by the ratings here on this bench. We just need a few high rated players. Thomas Lamar, perfect. Left mid substitute. Oh, it doesn't bust us up a chemistry. Okay, uh, a rating even. We've got Marco Royce. That is class. Can he save us? We could play him at right mid. Oh, Olivier Giroud. 90 rated Olivier Giroud. What an absolute tank this man is. I think we can play Marco Royce at right mid. Oh, he actually loses chem. But everyone else is on full chem. Surely we should have some rate. Oh, it's because they're all on nine. Uh -huh. we, we can maybe fix that with a manager. Wait, do we even have a manager? Oh my God, you don't even need to have a manager to play in this game. Oh my goodness, the game is so different. We just need high rated players. Give me a Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ericsson's not too bad. Hazard is even better. In fact, that's just better, isn't it? That's just all round better for, for, for rating and things. We'll see if we need to fix it uh, with chemistry. No! We've got Neymar, but we can't take him. Oh no. We can only take Corchia or Gibbs. Oh, that's so sad. That would have been so nice for rating. Gary Lineker! Yes, that is a very nice icon to get. He is higher rated than Giroud. We can put him in. That is good for rating. That is good for rating. We just need a little bit more from somewhere. Marcus Rashford, 81 rated. That is absolutely bloody criminal. And then we end with Livermore. Oh, no. We've done it. With that, we managed to get... 10 chemistry on the front three because they got the icon strong things. We managed to get three, as many as three icons in there. And, and remarkably, it has actually ended as a draw. We managed to get a 188 on FIFA 21 draft mode, European only. And also, oh, actually, we do have a manager as well. I've got, I was tripping. It was in the wrong place. It was in a different place than what I thought. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. The rating would have been enough. I was looking for the manager down in the bottom right, but obviously it's not there anymore because it changed. I think it is just a 188. That is, that's incredible. I can't believe we actually ended that as uh, as a draw. I mean, that's kind of crazy. If you guys have enjoyed this type of video and want to see more retro stuff, we have actually got a pack and play with Andy on the way in the near future. It's going to be a Euros themed as well because if you actually have a look, into the, I mean, this video might come out afterwards. Who knows what the timing of things is going to be like. If you have a look in the uh, the SBC section, there is, in fact, a Europe-only upgrade. So we're going to be busting open a bunch of those, maybe a few icon packs as well. So make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.